Hi guys, welcome back to the Life's Good. You caught me taking a quick break. Got a macaroon, cup of tea, just having a moment to think about things. I think Cheryl's on her way out to join us. She'll be here in a moment. She's on a, she's been doing a few jobs as well today. Hi sweetie. Hi darling, I'm just washed these Just ones. talking to the viewers. All right. I've oh well these done. Ones. That's good. I'm just taking a quick break. Well, the weather's uh, still a bit iffy, guys. And the aircraft are still flying in and out. So, might have to pause there. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I managed to get a few things done the other day, but uh, not everything I wanted to do. As uh, shortly after we were filming, the uh, weather changed and by the evening it was wet again. So uh, it's ridiculous. It's the 17th of August today. Uh, it's early afternoon. I think it's about one o'clock. Um, it's overcast. It's about 18 degrees, 19 degrees. Uh, not typical of August, but at least it's not absolutely tipping down. So I'm able to get out here and do a few things today. Um, I want to remove some of the uh, produce that's gone to seed. Excuse me, I've got a bit of a tickle today. Mm. As I was saying, I want to remove the um, some of the plants that have run to seed out here. Cheryl's going to be pickling some beetroot later on, so we'll be lifting some more of those. And uh, I wanted to prepare the ground down here and see what else I can put out in consideration for sort of overwinter growth. So well, we'll be looking at that as well. Um, I've just had a quick check in the, uh, the greenhouse here and the little one on the side here. Um, I did remove the caterpillars from the chilies in there. I haven't had any more problems since. I'm not sure what they were. I do believe they were some sort of a moth. Now I want to carry on and do a few things. Now one thing I'm doing in a minute and I'll show you how I do it is um, I'm going to string the uh, garlic together to, to hang it up in the other shed, in my main shed. I'm going to hang the garlic in there because it's cool and dark and it'll be an ideal place to store it. For, for use later on. So as soon as I get myself organized, I've finished my cup of tea, I'll show you what I'm doing with the garlic. Mm. Beautiful. Well, this is quite pleasant, guys. We've got a bit of sunshine. Um, the garlic, uh, I need to uh, prepare this for storage now i haven't got much it's not like i grew loads of garlic this year it was more by way of experiment than anything else i had some shop-bought garlic i used some of the cloves planted them in the ground and we produced some garlic now what i need to do is to prepare this to hang it up and store it ready for use or prepared for use for later on this year so they're dried out i've lifted them or pulled them out of the ground and uh, we've dried them off so they're all nice and dry now they've got dry leaves on they've got the dried roots here and uh, this is a hard necked variety so it's got quite a stiff neck here and what i need to do is to prepare these now ready to string them together so the first thing i need to do is to remove the roots from the bottom i've got a pair of sharp secateurs here i'm just going to snip the roots clean off the bottom of there like that and I'm going to cut the stem off about three or four inches up there so that what you've got is this the clove of garlic with a fairly torn neck and uh, the roots I'll just trim those a bit more I think you don't need the roots on you just trim the roots off the bottom and also if you've got any dirty leaves on here you can see this one has got some bit of dirt on there and a few dirty leaves I just rub those off um, you can see one of the cloves actually protruding out of the side of this uh, the garlic here but uh, just tidy them up before you store them so they're nice and fairly clean so that when you take them in the kitchen they're not all mucky but uh, there we go that'll be okay so uh, I'll do another one just separate it from the others so I'll take it off 
as I said, three or four inches tall. We don't want this bit. This can all go on the compost, guys. Um, I'm pulling off a few of the outer dead leaves and I'm going to trim off these dried roots. If you haven't got a pair of secateurs, you can use a pair of scissors. I've got some scissors here. They do just the same job. Give it a bit of a haircut on the bottom. And again, any dirty stray leaves on there. Well, not really leaves. It's just the outer skin that's dried off on this clove. Just make it a bit tidy. And there's another one ready to be strung. Now, I'll carry on and prepare these and then show you what I do next. See you in a minute. Well, as you can see, guys, I've got, I've got about a dozen garlic cloves here now. And I just wanted to put these together on a string using a piece of string that I can hang up in the shed. Uh, there's lots of ways of storing garlic. Different people have different methods. Some people actually leave the, uh, the, the length of uh, stem on the garlic and braid them, like plaiting in, Amer in, uh, in England. We call it plaiting. I think the Americans call it braiding. It's similar to what you do with ladies' hair or any long hair, where you put one over the other over the other. Um, I'm going to use a length of string and uh, hoop them into there, and I'll show you how I do that. I may have shown you this pot before. Uh, it's just a little tea caddy with a, a clip-on lid. And I put my ball of string inside and pulled the string out of the middle through a hole in the lid. And uh, this keeps it dry and tidy. And I just pull off the length I need through the top. Um, I'm going to take a couple of feet of this, two to three feet out of there, and snip that off. And I'm going to loop it together and just put a knot in the end, like so. So I now have sort of a double thickness length of string. And all I do is take the first clove, I'm going to put it through the loop there, wrap it around tuck the string back through the loop and pull it tight. That's the first one secured on the end of the string. I'm hoping you can still see. So that's hanging like so. Now the next one, I'll take the next clove and lie it next to the first one. I'm just going to pull the string around and tuck it through the loop just like knotting really um, I don't know what the method is called but just pull that tight next to the other one and you now have the two hanging side by side and when you want one of these of course the string will be hanging on a hook in your shed or your kitchen or wherever you want to keep them and you just pull the one you want out of its loop on the string so I do a few more as I said earlier, I've only got a few cloves of garlic here. Um, it was an experiment. We only grew about a dozen, but they've been successful. And I think next year, I'm more than likely going to grow an awful lot more. There we go. We now have three cloves of garlic hanging side by side on the string. And I'll just keep going. Put another one on put it in next to the others, pull the string around, loop it around, tuck it through. Knots getting caught guys. Fingers and thumbs. Here we go. Just slide it in place and pull the string up and we have another one hanging next to the others. I hope you're able to see that. I think I've got my arms in the way, but you get the idea. And uh, just keep going. Just working your way through. Tucking these bulbs together so they sit nicely together. And uh, looping the string around. 
tucking it through whichever way you want really guys there's no rules there's no hard and fast method it's just whatever is easy for you and convenient to store I'm pulling that one out I'm just gonna slide him in there we go once they're hanging up they'll be fine there's one wants to escape already I didn't do them up very tight just make sure they're secure in there and uh, yeah, that would be all right man once they're hanging up they'll be fine they're not going anywhere so as I said I've only got a few clothes so it doesn't really matter but if you've got more clothes you use longer string you may have another method for uh, storing them uh, be interesting to uh, see any other methods for doing this guys if you've got anything you want to share with me all the viewers um, these are all right they'll be fine hung up in this shed so I'll just knot these together hang them in the shed and we got a few cloves of garlic hanging up to use at some point in the not too distant future there we go so that's that job jobbed just wanted to quickly show you my shallots I've just spread them out on this little tray in the greenhouse and uh, they're drying out nicely I've separated them all and uh, just let them dry and then uh, once they're ready we'll trim off the bottoms and the tops peel them and uh, they'll be going in jars with vinegar for some lovely pickled onions during the winter I've also had a really good tidy up out here um, you can just about make out this pathway now I've taken away a lot of the uh, veg that had ran to seed was of no use anymore the last of the lettuces have gone now this was the area that had the shallots in I'm going to look at putting something in here we've already got chard growing there and I do have some more in trays there so I might put some chard down here and uh, this area down here has been cleaned now and uh, it's ready for whatever I want to put in there what I have done is put out a few chili and pepper plants just to see if they're okay in the climate I'm not sure whether they come to much but uh, I had far too many than I can accommodate in my greenhouses so I've popped some out here just to see how they get on if we just spin around you can see I've got three in here and they're starting to produce fruit so that's interesting that they're actually surviving and growing and producing peppers and uh, I thought well I'll put a few more out just to see what happens I've tied back some more of the raspberry canes to tidy that up uh, we've harvested a few things today I've taken away the uh, calabrese from at the far side there and I've harvested some rhubarb so it's been quite a productive day everything's looking neat and tidy again and I've got room for more produce so uh, that's really good news and I'm starting to think now towards the winter and I'm thinking of growing something like uh, kale or some other sort of greens that um, may be harvested during the winter but I'm also starting to think about what I'm going to do with regard to things like broad beans and garlic spring onions things of that nature so a uh, lot to consider the uh, parsnips will be in the ground for com some considerable sort of time um, that's sorrel I'll just point that out here there's sorrel in there now we use that a lot in sort of salad and um, with fish dishes and things but there's rather a lot of it there's far more there than we can possibly use so I'm thinking of thinning that a little bit and uh, adjacent to that of course is the uh, the beetroots and Cheryl's already started pickling some of those this afternoon so we've got a, one or two jars of those already but they do need to come out now and be uh, sorted so very productive day guys I think the best part of uh, everything we do in the garden uh, is the harvesting and what we end up with. It's hard work preparing the ground and growing things, sowing things, looking after things, controlling pests and goodness knows what else. But when you've had a busy day in the garden and you end up with a little hall like this to put in the kitchen and enjoy on your plate it makes it all worthwhile um, you can see on here guys we, we've got another picking of rhubarb here some nice sticks then they're, they're not small they're a reasonable size make a nice pie or a crumble um, the last of the 
black currants. I went through the fruit cage and uh, this is the last picking now, the last black currants. There's nothing left on those those bushes now. Spring onions, these have gone mad this year and these are nice. They're actually bulbing up. They're like a small white onion, but they're delicious, really tasty. Potatoes in the bottom of the colander here. Some nice leek, pulled some of these today. So we'll have some leek and potato alongside uh, some dinner this evening, I think. And uh, Cheryl's actually used some of the beetroot today and produced some jars of pickled beetroot. These little kilner jars are ideal. So uh, she's uh, boiled them, skinned them, sliced them, and put them into the vinegar. And I believe she's put some peppers and other spices in with those, a few chili flakes. Uh, when she was uh, preparing those so we're looking forward to trying those in a few weeks time and uh, of course there was a couple of eggs in the nest box courtesy of Daisy I forgot to collect one yesterday so consequently we had two today so that's a little bonus these are a good size egg a really nice size and absolutely wonderful flavor the yolks are really dark almost orange fantastic so not a bad uh, harvest for today and of course we still have produce remaining in the garden that we're going to be able to harvest over the weeks to come. Well guys, thanks for uh, popping in today. Thanks for watching my videos. Be great if you could subscribe if you haven't already. If you're new to the channel, pop back and look at some of my older videos. Uh, I've only been going a few months. I started back in January and uh, the plot was pretty barren at that point and uh, put a lot of effort into sort of preparing it and uh, getting it ready and uh, bringing it onto the stage that it is today and uh, we're so lucky that we've got such a productive small plot there it's not an allotment it's just a small backyard garden but we're trying to get as much as we can food wise from that small area so as I said, pop back and have a look at my other videos. You'll see what sort of progress we've made. And come back and see us again. It'd be great to see you again. You can pop in any time. Come and have a look around and see what we're up to. Well, I'm going to have to go. It's the end of a lovely day. And uh, time to get clean. Have some supper. And maybe a little drop of homemade wine. Or cider. Or beer. Or something of that nature. Just to relax with later this evening. Well, whatever you're doing. You take care of yourselves, you be safe, be happy, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye now.